But um, I recommend usually just making one that's around 1,280. I think that's today's standard to me. But uh, it's completely up to you. Just fiddle around with that. That's a different topic. So there you have it. I think that really actually wraps up the concepts of backgrounds for your websites. Um, I mean, <laughs> this is just one example. I had that large image in there and a thin repeat. You can make these any color gradients. Maybe you want to have bars that go across the top, glossy bars, glass bars, panels. Maybe you want to uh, have a different, you know, spaced out or planet background that comes in from the top left. You can do that with the uh, background attributes. Now, if you want to position something in specific, if you want to position a, uh, I'm going to switch this back to large.jpg. If you want to set a specific position for an image, and it's not going to be a stretched image along the left and right axis, so CSS isn't going to stretch it 100%, it's just going to put it, and by the default it goes in the top left. But you can specify background dash, what is it, position? I believe so, yep, position. Background dash position. And you can specify, you know, the right, the left, it can inherit from the document or the browser size, center, bottom, top, or you can combine them and say, you know, maybe you want a planet that's only a small 500 by 500 pixel document, and you have that planet, you want to make that the background, well, you can actually say top left, and that would position it in the top left corner of your browser. Same thing for top right, bottom right, you can combine them together like that with a space in between them, and it will work appropriately. With that, you guys, I think I'm going to wrap up this tutorial. My name is Graham with Tutorial Clarity. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and if you have friends that are into this kind of stuff or they want to learn, be sure to direct them to my channel. I would be much appreciated. Be sure to leave feedback. I always love hearing from you guys, so comment. And uh, again, guys, my name is Graham with Tutorial Clarity. Take care. Say